Hey everyone, it's Lonnie. It's time for another video. This is going to be a fun one. We're going to work with graphics on this OLED display. And I got to tell you, we're going to be using this 128 by 64 OLED display today. But this graphics library that we're going to be working with works on a wide variety of displays uh, in conjunction with the library for your display in particular. I've actually used this library uh, to draw on a Nokia 5110 screen before. You know, the old candy bar phones or whatever you call them. Um, I've, act I've used this exact same graphics library a few years back to draw on those. So don't think that this graphics library is only for this particular screen. It applies to a lot of them. So let's go ahead and get started here, y'all. Um, first, I want to tell you this is already hooked up. It's already got the library files loaded on the uh, on the IDE. If you need to know how to do that, I've put links right down below to the videos where I show exactly how to hook this screen up and exactly how to install the libraries that you'll need to do what we're gonna do today. So if you haven't done that yet, you might wanna pause the video and um, go look at one of those other videos, get set up and then come back here for this one. Um, so, Another good link, uh, or invaluable really, is this learnadafruit.com graphics library uh, documentation. This is the actual documentation for the graphics library. It's going to tell you all the commands and how to use them. And as is par for the course with these Adafruit um, tutorials, really good stuff. So if you're just getting started with the graphics library, I think you got to at least skim through this once. It'll make a lot more sense if you do that. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is, real quick, the coordinate system, because everything's based on coordinates. Uh, going across the top, or going from left to right, that's the X coordinate. And look, I'm, here's a little real crude drawing. Uh, there's, I'm also gonna pull one up on the computer screen here. So, Upper left-hand corner is going to be X coordinate 0, Y coordinate 0. Bottom right-hand corner is going to be X 128, Y of 64. Uh, actually, it's going to be 127, 63 because we're starting at 0. So um, keep that in mind. Most of these commands that we're going to be talking about are going to have X and Y components to them. It's always going to be X followed by Y. And that's how it's set up. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. The first command, and we're going to look at all these primitives that they talk about in the graphics library. And um, I have the, I have a template that I, I saved to my IDE. I recommend, if you're going to be doing a lot of graphics stuff, I would recommend you do the same thing. Uh, basically, I stripped all the stuff out of the Adafruit example, SSD 1306 example, and I saved a template just so I'd be ready to go. And basically it's loading up the libraries I need, it's setting up the parameters as far as the screen width and height. Um, and then right here, it's starting the display up on 0x3c, which is my I squared C address. Yours may be different. And then after that, I'm doing a display.fill screen zero, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, that's basically gonna clear the screen. And uh, let's get started. So the first one we're going to talk about, anytime you call one of these graphics commands from this graphics library, you're going to have to do a display dot and then the command. And we're going to start with drawing a single pixel. And we're going to draw a pixel in about the center of the screen. Uh, we're going to do 64 for the X coordinate and... 32 for the Y coordinate and you always have to give a color all right um, and we're not using a color screen it's monochrome so your only two colors with a monochrome monochrome screen are zero or one right now the screen is actually on it's been fill screened to zero that's why it's black if it was fill screen to white it'd be white so uh, we're going to do a draw pixel draw pixel goes X comma Y comma color so 64 comma 32 comma color. Whenever you run these commands, these display.draw commands, 
it's actually not writing directly to the screen. It's actually writing to a screen buffer, which is basically staging your drawing on a memory buffer. And then whenever you run this next command, display.display, .display, that dumps everything that is currently on the screen buffer to the screen. So if you don't, without this command right here, nothing would happen. But as this stands, we're going to draw one little pixel right in the middle of the screen, or approximately in the middle of the screen. And these, these graphics uh, sketches, they just take a minute to upload. The library is a, is, it takes up a lot of space, this code does. But I think you should see, let's see, can I zoom in? Oh yeah, there we go. Zoom in, and yeah, I think you can see that there. There we go, that's good. Should see one little bitty pixel right there in the middle of the screen about, okay? So uh, there, we have that draw pixel. We're going to add something else. We're gonna do a display.draw. The next one is line. And for a line, you have to do a starting point and an ending point. So we're gonna start, and you do your X, X comma Y beginning and then you're going to do X comma Y ending. So uh, we're going to start in the upper left hand corner, which could be zero, zero. And we're just going to draw kind of a diagonal. Uh, we'll do 32 on the X axis and we'll, we'll go almost all the way down with it. And then we have to set a color of one as always. And then we have to do a display dot display. Actually, I can, uh, I'll take this one out. Next time I'll just move it. So now we should get the pixel in the line. Should be a line about right here, something like that. Maybe a little steeper than that. There we go. All right, so now we have a pixel and a line. Now let's do uh, we're going to do a display dot, it's a rectangle, draw a rectangle. Let's start the rectangle. Where are we going to start this? I want to fit a few shapes on the screen. Uh, huh, huh, huh. We'll start this at, uh, we'll do a small one. 70 comma 2, that's, that's going to be the upper left hand corner of your rectangle. Okay? And then the next coordinate, th this is where it's kind of handy to have the documentation handy. The next argument is going to be the width, overall width of that rectangle. So uh, we can go, we can do a 30 there. And then the height is the next component, 15, and then the color, of course. And we can draw that out. While it's drawing that, I'll be working on the next command. Okay, yeah, we have our little rectangle right up there. It's working fine. So now let's do, I wanna move down a little lower. We're gonna look at a fill rectangle. So we're gonna start at 70 again, but I wanna go down below the little dot there so eh, we'll go down to like 40, that's fine, on the y-axis. And we'll make our width, we'll go, we'll make it a little wider. Do we have 35? Yeah, we can fit 35 in there. We'll do 15 as a height again and one as a color. And this fill, I'm only gonna show you the fill command on this one shape because it works the same on the other shapes. Fill rectangle will give you a solid color uh, rectangle, not just the outline of one, as you'll see right here. There we go. And you see I made it a little wider. So now we have our uh, pixel, a line, a rectangle, and a filled rectangle. Next up is a circle. Circle is pretty simple. You put, we're going to do a draw circle. And we need to put the X and Y coordinates of the center point of our circle first 
Let me see, where do I want to make this circle? Hmm. Kind of trying to eyeball it here. Uh, we'll go over, hmm. We'll go over like 22 for the X coordinate and we'll go down like 30. We may overlap, it doesn't matter. And then you have to put uh, the radius going from the midpoint to the edge of your circle. We'll make it fairly small. See what 15 looks like. And then the color, and that's it. There's also, um, there's a few other shapes. There's a, a rounded rectangle that you can draw. Go look at the documentation at Adafruit. I, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna use, probably use a rounded rectangle, but you can. Uh, look, I kinda, I didn't mean for that to happen, huh? You know what, maybe I'll move that sucker over a little bit. I'll change my X coordinate by about, I don't know, what, 10? Then we'll re-upload. And you see how we did the fill rectangle here? You can also do draw, uh, excuse me. You can also do fill circle. It'll do the same thing as that the fill rectangle did. It'll draw a solid color circle on whatever, whichever color you choose. And we're all, we're like, Wow, that, that line looks like it's tangent now, right? <laughs> so the next one we're going to talk about is the triangle. Uh, draw triangle. And this one's a little bit different because we have to put uh, all three corners of the triangle. So we're going to overlap some of our other shapes. That's fine. I'm not going to put a whole lot of time into that. Let's start it off at 5, 5. You put each point in order here. 5, 5, and we'll go over to, uh, hell, let's go all the way over to 127, 3. And then we're going to go, uh, we'll go mid scale here, 64 on the x axis, uh, all the way down to like 60 on the y axis. And finally, we have to put our color in, and that's it. So now we should get a triangle going pretty much through all the shapes there. And you just have to put three, all three corners of your triangle, wherever you do that. Yep, there it is. There's the triangle. All right, now, uh, that's all the primitives, and there is a fill triangle too. That's all the primitives. Let's talk about uh, characters now. So there is a um, draw character command or there's a print command. We'll look at the print command first. So we're gonna have to tell the, um, we're gonna have to tell the Arduino where to start writing. So you have to use a set cursor for that. If you don't use a set cursor, I believe it'll default to the upper left hand corner not sure haven't tried it you can try it if you if you want to um, let's see where are we gonna put ours at we'll start at 64 comma hmm we'll do it 64 comma 32 so that's gonna put the upper left hand upper left hand uh, part of our first letter should start right there on that point so as a matter of fact I'll scooch it over one pixel okay and that's all we have to do there now you also can set the text color which for us well wait hang on hang on wait let me correct this because I have to do a display dot set cursor and then a display dot set color it's one surprise surprise and then if you want different sizes, this is where you can do that. If you want a bigger font, set text size. And whatever you put in here in parentheses, it's going to be a multiple of the default size. So if I put a 2, it would be twice as big as what we're about to see. And then that's it. That's all we got to do. Now we can just do a display dot print and then works just like 
our uh, lcd.print commands have been working. So uh, we'll just do a hello right there. And let's take a look. Oh, we got a problem here. Display dot set. Oh, it's not set color. Set text color. Caught that little error there. Looks like it's good this time. <coughs> we'll write this text out, and that's going to pretty much wrap us up. I think if there we go it starts hello should be I can't even see it should be just to the right of that pixel it should be like a little bit of air there so actually not air I think the little the the first pixel we wrote might be touching the top of that H so that's it guys that's a uh, draw pixel draw line draw a rectangle draw a circle draw a triangle and how to print characters so uh, pretty good graphics library to use and again all the uh, links for installing the libraries and for the documentation for that library right down below hope y'all learned a little something here thanks for watching bye bye